Good morning guys, Johnny with Blades of Grass Lawn Care. Man, beautiful day. Here in my part of uh, the United States, it's going to be, I want to say about 89, 90. But the heat index is supposed to be like 100. We're used to it. I can't wait until mid-August. It'll start to minimize the temperature just a little bit. Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Um, quick uh, 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 note, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, hedge trimming and, and my preference guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, is the uh, battery powered, let me turn this off, battery powered uh, hedge trimmers because they're quiet and they're, they're lighter. Um, and I like to do hedge trimming, like for instance, it's, uh, it's six o'clock right now and I'm getting ready to head out and I like to do it early in the morning. And you know, you go into these subdivisions with HOAs and you know, um, noise ordinance and all that good stuff. And I, I try to get them, get them done pretty early and, and not wake up the customers. I had a lot of um, situations where customers will get up and go, hey, I didn't know you were even here, which is pretty good. But um, I utilize battery powered hedge trimmers on all my, uh, all my accounts. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys saying, you know, hey, you know, let me see these hedge trimmers on, on on kept or, or overwhelmed uh, bushes and shrubs. But keep in mind, guys, I seldom do those type of work. Um, that kind of work I do <clears throat> mainly uh, in the spring and uh, in the winter time when, when things are extremely overgrown or if I pick up a brand new property. So in those situations, I tend to gravitate more to a gas powered uh, hedge trimmer. But on the average, guys, um, we are trimming our hedges every every month or every two months so it, it to me honestly what we have um is is just right for what we do so if you're looking for one of those videos with overwhelm hedges and stuff like that i'm not the channel sorry <laughs> but um this is what i use guys and it's extremely cheap on 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 you as a business owner there's no cost i mean except for the you know plugging it in and a little bit of electricity here and there but there's no cost other than that guys as usual man you get up every day and come out to work hold on you come out to work guys and what happens you have a low tire what's what's going on with these low tires is there like a like a like a, a ferry that comes out at night time and kind of just take out the air out of you out of your tires <laughs> Woo. All right, so let me take this off real quick and give you a first person look. All right. Ah, welcome to Blaze of Grass Lawn Care Junkyard. <laughs> you said junkyard, this doesn't look like a junkyard. Yeah. I need to put a little bit of work into this thing. All right, let's put some air into here. Uh, and again, guys, I got this at Harbor Freight. And at the time, I got it on sale for 11 bucks. But you can check out my Amazon store. I think it's like 45 bucks in my Amazon store. So that's it. That should be good for now. Turn it off. Put it in there. Lock it up. And I should have everything, like for instance, the job I'm getting ready to do, I don't need the uh, gas powered hedge trimmers. And in my preference guys, and just me, I love the Echo hedge trimmers. I have both. The, uh, the swivel head and this one here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I prefer personally. Um, they're lightweight and uh, they get the job done. All right, other than that, I should have everything I need here. And there goes my two gentlemen. Just came in. And I should be good to go. And let me turn this around. There 
you go. Hopefully this film pretty good. I don't know, I'm trying something new, you know? Do that first person view on the things that I'm doing. But yep. Other than that guys, what I have today to eat is a banana, water, and have you guys ever tried these Lara bars? Yeah, and for those guys who didn't know, I'm, I'm a uh, vegetarian, guys, for the past three years. I think it's three and a half now. Yeah, three years, so I don't eat, you know, no, I'm not a vegan. Vegan is peop uh, people that don't eat uh, any products uh, from, from, from the animal. Um, I do eat cheese. I don't, I don't buy it, but I do eat it if, it's, if it comes in a sandwich or whatever. And eggs, I do eat eggs if it's in a sandwich or whatever the case might be. But, um... Yeah, all right. So I'm a, I am a vegetarian. So this is a cashew cookie. Pretty good. Try it out, guys. Other than that, let me show you. Uh, I have my. I have the Milwaukee system, and it has the uh, the pruner, and I'm taking my Echo handheld, and my Litelli hand pruners, but at uh, trimmers. I mean, but I, I probably won't need that okay so uh i'll see you on the uh, job site So we trim all the lower pedalums and the client likes this to look a little bit more natural. We trim the Logostrums and the other Logostrum over here. So here it is. completed and now on to the next all right let me go check on my boys and drop them off some fuel they're over here doing their thing we'll get them some fuel Got some fuel for you. Right. Hey, you got any more uh, edge blades? Edge blades, yeah. I got the ones you still have up here. Okay, cool. When you get a chance, as a matter of fact, yeah, when you get a chance to get to the dumpster, get rid of these, okay? All right. Yeah, we don't hold on to them. All right, other than that, you, you guys good, right? Yes, sir. All right. That's good, man. 
port. Hey, for you guys that are wondering, oops, let me turn this down. You guys that are wondering why um, my guys have this thing on their faces, um, believe it or not, um, it's, it's allergies. Um, they're, uh, they have allergies, so therefore, you know, they just wear the, uh, the stuff over their face. Plus, you know, there's a lot of pollen and all kind of stuff around here, so. All right, so I'm heading to a home where we busted a glass yeah you know the little side uh, glass on the doors where people use to peep but I'll, I'll show you yeah one of the uh, rocks from the edger hit it and broke it so we'll, we'll go ahead and replace that no big deal no uh, no insurance needed get a quick handyman to repair that for us so we're heading to that and then uh, to another location. I'll just uh, take you with me. Enjoy. I'm just checking my work. Their work, I'm sorry. I'll be back. But let me tell you guys, um, as an owner, you have to double check your guys, your crews. You have to double check, man. It is not that you don't have any confidence in, in what they're doing. Um, man, this is tight. Uh, you gotta remember, man, you know, they're humans. And, and, and we all make, uh, we all make mistakes. We all forget certain things. And uh, as a good supervisor, you have to double check, you know, what they say, check the checker, just to ensure things are right. Because sometimes we, uh, we'll find things that others don't. All right, on to the next. All right. Let's see. Okay, yep, this is broken. See where the rock hit it right here? Okay. Got it. All right, well, situations like these, we just, uh, get a handyman come out here replace a glass is usual uh, um, usually oops it's usually just uh, replacing the, the outer glass because it's two glass but push come to shove you know we just replace both depending on, the other one shouldn't be cracked but if, if it is then oh well all right I mean these things happen guys so just be ready for it, right? But I don't think this, a situation like this, we do not use our insurance. No, it makes no sense. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll keep it moving. 